So, out again this morning, sitting here by a barley field, and I am trying to capture some morning lights. Uh, I'm struggling somewhat with getting all the colours out of the skies, um, and I'm using my two second self timer on the um, on this uh, beautiful Fujifilm camera. Uh, I'm shooting with a wide angle lens because I want to get the most out of the scene. Uh, I'm shooting ultra wide actually uh, and I'm trying to get something uh, as my foreground element and I will try to do some layering but right now I just do my uh, I just found this little scene of whatever you want to call it where the scene of barley just looking into the blue hours lights and we are soon going into golden hour uh, I am very happy to be here it's really beautiful and if I was here three hours later it wouldn't be calm at all here so I'm just enjoying the calm in a place where most people will usually go for their walks really enjoying it though Hope you will enjoy this video as well and I will choose one of the images and I will see if I can give you a little run through of what I'm doing. A little quick one. just had to abandon the wide angle because you know I, just looking at this this is not a wide angle shot uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually using my self timer and for two seconds and I'm trying to capture this beautiful side light that's coming over the over the, the barley feet uh, I'm shooting out towards the lake, so I'm actually regretting not having a polarizer, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but capturing this sunrise is turning out to be quite difficult at this location, actually, because uh, you don't really have that much foreground, and then it makes everything difficult when you're trying to shoot, to shoot uh, ultra-wide. Uh, but you know, I, I just saw that the light didn't really rise where I wanted it today, so I just went somewhere else. Right now I'm going to turn myself over towards the museum over there and see if I can capture some of their buildings. And we'll take it from there.
so <laughs> that was about half an hour of sub sunrise um right now the sun is on its way behind a cloud and at this point there is not much interest really in this location so pro coffee good old coffee uh, i know i have a few good shops in the bag uh, i have a few wide angles and i have a few uh, quite beautiful one with the zoom lens with the fujinon zoom lens autofocus uh, i'll make a separate video with uh, uh, with a uh, uh, wide angle lens because that's actually quite an interesting lens uh, it's a Samyang lens and I'm really impressed with the quality of that lens uh, I must say uh, but I will make a, a another video about that one because I need to have a location that is more lending itself more towards uh, towards wide angle uh, and this one I actually chose to go more for the textures in the barley and also did some small landscape shots of them. I did, I've did. i done some aerial shots and I've done a lot of different footage. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, what it turns out like. Uh, still insanely impressed with the Fuji. It's an amazing camera. And it's, you know, I've cho often chosen to go with uh, negative film when it comes to color and it comes to landscape photography because i find that to be a more tactile approach i like that approach but with this camera i'm i don't think i will ever use c41 film again <laughs> really with those rising prices on c41 and the quality of this camera you know i i'm impressed Really, I will still carry on with black and white, I guess, for for uh, analog, because I really like that process. I think that is, it really adds something to the photography. But for color, actually, don't think I'm. I will go so much more into color negative photography. Really, who knows? Probably get a few dislikes on this, but you know, I don't really care. Well, my about 40 followers, I guess that will be <laughs> not a big issue. Anyway, uh, I will enjoy my coffee and I will see if there will be some more lights. If not, I'm just going to go home. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you just don't have to plan everything in down to detail. Very often I plan my shoots, I plan my outings, I know exactly what kind of shots I want. Um, but today I had to replan, reschedule. Because uh, I, I saw that there was a thick cloud over the lake where I was actually thinking of going so I just went the opposite direction and I came to this field and I must say though that the images I've captured today are not at all what I expected to capture this morning but at the same time I've really enjoyed it I have really had a beautiful morning with my cup of coffee. I've had a lot less waiting. Uh, but, you know, I planned this to be an ultra-wide video, but it will not be an ultra-wide video, I can tell you that much right now. But it is... It has been such a beautiful morning. And I hope this video won't be too long for you. But right now, I'm just enjoying every second of this little morning outing. Thank you very much for joining me and hope to see you again in the next video.